well let me tell you about some tricks that I know I got a Latina Hey guys, it's Sapphire <laughs> Yes guys, my phone somehow survived from that ridiculous cola And honestly speaking guys, I did it just because I got to run the Galaxy Note Fan Edition or Galaxy S A ROM on my phone Crazy thing about this ROM is that it will not only work on Galaxy Note 3 But also on Galaxy S4 Now guys, before I go ahead and show you the how can you install this ROM on either of the both devices Let's just take a look at some of the cool features which this ROM offers so let me just quickly go ahead inside of settings to show you the Android version so inside of settings in about device software information you can see here that the ROM is based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow now if I go back you can see here that the model number being shown is of Galaxy S8 but beside Galaxy S features guys this ROM also offers the Galaxy Note Fan Edition features so let me quickly take out my S Pen and you can see here that the pen window works absolutely fine now if you wish to add more shortcuts here you can go ahead and tap on this little plus icon and you will be taken to this page where you will find almost all the applications installed on your phone now you can go ahead and either add or remove the applications from the pen window so let me just quickly go ahead and remove this application from my pen window so for that I will just click this little subtract icon and boom that application will be gone now you can go ahead and add the application you know whatever the application you want to have inside of your pen window uh, so go ahead and drag it inside of this bar and that application will be added and guys this room also offers the off-screen memo so let me just quickly show you that in action so my screen is off at the moment now if I take out my S Pen you can see here that the off-screen memo will pop up now you can go ahead and write anything here so let me just quickly write my name here so that's my name if you guys didn't know that now <laughs> you know it now if I go ahead and put my S Pen back inside of my phone that memo will be saved and by the way guys, I just uploaded a video showing how to install Android 7.1.2 Nougat on Galaxy Note 3. Well, if you want to install it on your device, go ahead and click on this annotation right here and that will take you to that video. Alright, coming towards this ROM, well, let's talk about the feature that caught everybody's eyes when the Galaxy S8 was first released. Well, I'm actually talking about the Infinity Wallpaper. So for that guys, you have to get inside of App Drawer and then click this Live Wallpaper application. Once you click that, here you will find all of the Infinity Wallpapers. So go ahead and choose the wallpaper which you want to have either on your home screen or on both home screen and lock screen so I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, home screen and lock screen off of that I'm gonna go with this wallpaper so once you have selected your wallpaper go ahead and choose set as wallpaper and your wallpaper will be applied and the cool thing about this wallpaper is that if you swipe through the pages the space particles in the background also move and that looks really really futuristic and by the way guys if you don't like this swipe to get inside the app drawer adjuster you can have your old school app drawer button back here on the home screen so for that you have to tap and hold on the home screen and then click on this little gear icon so once you click that here you will find apps button option so click that and then choose show apps button and that will bring the old school app drawer button back on your home screen all right guys so let's take a look at the camera application which we have here with this from and by the way guys I have actually installed the Galaxy S7 as camera on my phone but when you will first install this from on your phone you will get three choices for the camera application and those include the Galaxy Note 4 camera, the Galaxy Note 7 camera and the Galaxy S7 Edge camera that I have here on my device. Now you can see here clearly that the interface is pretty clean and that app also works absolutely fine at the same time now if you click on this little arrow pointing downwards you will be able to expand the feature menu now I would like to talk about the most powerful feature of this application and that is the pro feature so for that guys you have to click on mode and here you will find the pro camera so tap on that and what this feature basically does it actually lets you modify the highlights the shadows the color temperature I mean everything you do after taking the picture in the post-production now you can do that here live with this application so uh, for that you have to click on this first icon which is named tone 2 so once you click that uh, go in the bottom and click the last box and here guys uh, you can see I have a variety of controls for modifying the looks of my picture now I know that the text is not aligned in the bottom It's probably because the DPI of the Galaxy S7 Edge is way more than Galaxy Note 3 but if you rotate your phone 
in the portrait mode, uh, you will get the text aligned. Now you can see on top I have the color temperature. If I move the slider towards right, I will get the warmer colors. Now if I move the slider towards uh, left, I will get the colder colors. Now same way, you can go ahead and change the saturation, the highlights, the shadows, whatever you wish. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check out this feature. I hope you guys will really, really like it. All right, guys, now let's take a look at the multitasking capabilities which this ROM offers. Now, if you go ahead and press and hold this recent apps button, you will get here this split window. Now you can go ahead and open one application on top and another application on the bottom. So basically you can have two applications running at the same time on your screen. Now let me go ahead and open up calculator on top and my files on bottom. So you can see here, we have a pretty nice workflow. Now you can go ahead and also make the uh, window of any of these applications bigger or smaller by dragging this little circle up or down so you can see here it works pretty well now another great thing I really liked about this ROM is that it offers the floating icon feature now if you want to make uh, the floating icon of any of these applications running here well you can do that easily so uh, for that first of all select the application I mean the window of the application of which you want the floating window now I've selected the calculator then you have to click this little circle and then you have to select this little box uh, with the arrows pointing each other so once you click that you will get the floating icon of that particular application and yeah guys we're gonna forget the all-time favorite feature of galaxy not fan edition the always on display now if i lock my phone you can see there is nothing displayed it is because that feature is turned off so to enable that guys you have to expand the notification panel and here you will find that feature so click on its icon and that feature will be enabled so you can see we have a very nice clock being displayed here and you can also customize it so for that you have to click on always on display text and here you will find more settings and here you can make customization to the always on display now guys we also have here the edge panel and it is also working fine at the same time now I would like to talk about the overall performance of this ROM well guys at this point I can actually recommend you to have this ROM as a daily driver on your smartphone phone there aren't any major bugs at all i mean this form is really stable and it also offers great battery timing if i had to rate it i would rate it 8 by 10 which is really great and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little review of this rom and now i will go ahead and show you the how can you install this rom on your smartphone now guys talking about the supported devices well as i mentioned earlier this rom will work on galaxy s4 and galaxy Note 3 and you can also check out the supported models of these two devices down in the description of this video and and we also need a custom recovery for flashing this ROM and the required one is TouchWiz Recovery version 2.8.7.0 so if you don't have that you can check out the description for its link and we also need the ROM file and I have also given the download link for that in the description of this video so yeah go ahead and download that file and then save it on your phone and then boot up inside of the custom recovery so guys once you are inside the custom recovery go ahead and click vibe advanced vibe and here select Dalloway cache system data and caches so once you have selected these items go ahead and swipe to wipe them up now guys you have to move to the location where you saved your ROM file so for me it's inside of micro SD card so yeah choose the file and then swipe to flash it and after that the Roma installer will open now guys once you are inside the Roma installer go ahead and uh, choose the language and after that click next click next once again and here we have the change log so yeah go ahead and read it if you wish to and after that click next and here we have the installation type now if you are installing this ROM for the first time or maybe updating it over the previous version of this ROM go with the first option or uh, you can uh, choose the second option if you want to install the modes only so yeah I'm gonna go with the first option and now guys you have to select which device you own whether it is Galaxy Note 3 or maybe Galaxy S4 and it is a really important step because if you uh, select the model uh, different than uh, the phone you own then you will surely end up getting a lot of issues so I'm gonna go with N9005 because that's what I have after that click next and here you have uh, to select the kernel for your particular device I'm gonna go with phantom kernel uh, for my N9005 model of that click next here you have to choose uh, the country sales code 
So after that, click next. And here you have uh, some choices for the applications that you can have on your phone. So go ahead and choose whatever you wanna have on your phone. After that, click next. And here you have the system UI choice. So uh, you have the battery color indicator here as well. So you wanna have white color for your battery or maybe green, he's telling you, go ahead and select that. And we also have the ultra data saving mode here. Offer that, uh, click next. And here you have some choices for applications once again. So go ahead and choose whatever you wanna have. Offer that, click next. And here we have the choice for the camera application. Now you can go ahead and install Galaxy S7S camera or Galaxy Note 4 camera or Galaxy Note camera so I'm gonna go with the Galaxy S7 Edge camera offer that click next and here you have the choice for sound application uh, so go ahead and choose whatever you want to have offer that click next and here you have the NTP server choice so uh, go ahead and choose the region where you live so I'm gonna go ahead and choose Oman because that's where I live offer that click next and here you have the choice for super user and we also have busybox here and if you are into customization game go ahead and uh, install Install the exposed and after that click next and here guys you have to click on full wipe one or for that click next and click install and click OK and there you go our installation process will begin now this will take like five minutes but don't worry about that after uh, this installation finishes you can go ahead and reboot your system so guys once the installation process is done you can go ahead and click next and yeah click next once again and you can have your phone rebooted so yeah guys as usual the first boot will surely take like 15 to 20 minutes so give it some time and let me remind you once again if you want to install android 7.1.2 nougat on your galaxy note 3 click this annotation and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to like the video and i will see you all next time